name of your first childhood basketball team? I think, I'm pretty sure it was the Arizona Warriors. Arizona Warriors? Yeah. I mean, that, Back in the day. That makes sense coming from you. I mean, you are a shooter, so. Yeah. We, yeah, we had a whole a whole team of shooters back then. Oh, dang, that's nice. Yeah. All right, let's see. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Superpower? Um, I think it would be the ability to fly. Fly? Yeah, I've always, I don't know, like, I like birds, you know, okay. so I, like, I like when they fly, so I think that would be my, my yeah. superpower. I mean, I've seen you in practice a little bit. You can kind of fly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. No? A little bit? A little bit. All right. Um, is it my turn or your turn? I got you. All right. So if you could be the main actor in a movie, who would you be? Um, I think the question is asking me like who I would be in a movie, like a famous actor. Yeah. Is that what it's saying? Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe, uh, maybe, um, Think of one right now, maybe uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah, Batman. Okay. I feel like I'm, you know, I kind of got that in me right there. Like, so is that is, is that your favorite superhero? Then? Oh, definitely Batman. Oh yeah. So is that a different question in there? Because we could just kill know. two birds with one stone. I don't right know now. if it is, but I was just asking. Oh man. So we, we'll, we'll talk oh, about we'll that later. Okay. All right. This is kind of a interesting question. Okay. Have you ever? Have you ever been falling asleep in a movie theater? Which movie did you watch? Um, no, I've never fallen asleep in a movie theater. Okay. All the movies I go see, I mean, I try and enjoy yeah. them, so. Yeah, I feel like, why would you pay to see a movie to sleep in? Yeah, so. I thought you were gonna say Batman to try and like, make fun of me a little bit. No, I've never seen, I've never seen Batman in movie oh, theaters. Only when they great. came out. Okay. So, uh, next question. Which was your best Halloween costume? My best Halloween costume? Batman. I never dressed up as Batman, but um I usually it's kinda lame because like as a basketball player, mm. you like show up to school on Halloween or like you got their little Halloween day or whatever. You're like supposed to have a cool costume, but I was just wear a basketball jersey. <laughs> it's just like an easy, easy thing to do and didn't want to like didn't want to like embarrass myself wearing some weird costume, so I would always be a basketball player. Hey, it's always good to be you. Yeah. Okay, this one's good. Who is your favorite basketball player besides me? Besides you? Well, it doesn't say that, but I'm hey. just saying you can't pick me. I can't pick you? No. I gotta think on that one. You weren't prepared for this? I wasn't. Dang, my fault. It's all good. Uh, I would say, I would say Michael Jordan. Um, even though like I never, Saw him play like, you know, on TV or anything. Cause I was too young. But just like his his greatness, you know, just watching clips of you know how, you know how he played, the way he played, and then watching the last dance. I mean, that just like that just brought it brought it home for me. Just how he, his approach to the game and everything like that. So uh, that's it. That's my for favorite sure. player. Definitely, that's the go right there, in my opinion. Uh, so, uh, which traits are necessary to become a professional basketball player? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, there's probably a long list of, of traits, but to me, I think um, obviously being a hard worker, I think um, that's really important because you don't just get here by accident. You got to mm -hmm. put in the work and put in the time. Um, I think being like, for, for us at least, you know, being away from home and, um, you know, coming out here and having an opportunity like this, like, you gotta be fearless. Like, you gotta just be able to, you know, not fear your opponent, not fear mm -hmm. any circumstance. Um, just always embrace opportunities. And for me, I think being positive in every situation is something that I try to do. Yeah, exactly. I think, I think you should do a great job of, like you said, you know, being positive. I can practice and everything like that. So that's one thing I try and take away, you know, from you as a, as a, as a person. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. That's, that's love right there. You're trying to make me uh, uh, blush on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my turn. Ooh. Which other sports besides basketball did you do in the past? 
in the past. So um, I don't know if this really if this really counts, but in I think in second grade I played soccer. Okay. Um, I was really good because I was just faster than everyone. Yeah. So I just kick it and go oh, yeah. get it. And then I played football um, until middle school. So that was I said that was my my second sport. Um, Played a little bit of quarterback, mm -hmm. a little wide receiver, a little so. point guard out on the football field. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Where well, well, you grew up in Georgia? Yeah, Georgia. Is it is football like the biggest oh, sport there? For sure. Definitely, right? Yeah, football is king down there. Dang. So, but uh, yeah, those, you weren't tough enough to play football. You had to go play basketball. Is that, was, is that how it worked? Or, or shoot? In a nutshell. In a nutshell, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, man, I was, you know. Tall, slinky kid. Yeah, yeah. I want to try taking hits hand. by these dudes that are, you know, your same age, but they're already like grown men out yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel you. So uh, next one, uh, do you have any siblings? I do have siblings. I have an older brother. His name's Connor, and then I have two younger sisters, Hallie and Anna. Okay. So are y'all like kind of like all right there in age? Yeah, um, we're all actually three years apart. So oh, nice. We all. Me and my older brother are close. Obviously, they're close, and mm -hmm. then everyone gets along. Shout out to the fam, love my family. Um, ooh, this is a good one. And actually, we talked about this the other day. Really? Okay. Yeah. Ready? What do you usually eat for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> um, so usually uh, I do oatmeal. Uh huh. So uh, when I first moved out to Germany uh, and got here to get good again, I couldn't find any oatmeal. Yeah. So I tried porridge, and that was that, that was wasn't it. Well, no, no, that that wasn't it was like else. baby food, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, you know, I got to find something else. So yeah, I did some eggs, um, but I went to Penny, found uh, found some oatmeal there. Okay. So I've been I've been sticking with the oatmeal. That's a great, you know, pre-practice breakfast. Get your day started. Oh yes, sir. I like it. Um, if you could play one game again, which would it be and why? That's a good question. Um, nothing really comes to mind right off the top of my head. Um, you know, I played in a lot of games in college that were a lot of fun and memorable. And I think the result was always what, what I wanted when we won. Maybe just to experience it again. Mm -hmm. um, my last game in college against Gonzaga was a pretty fun game, and it was on senior night. It was at home, you know, top twenty-five matchup. It was pretty crazy. So I'd maybe say that game. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm looking forward to some games this year that will be unforgettable too. Oh, yes, sir. Um, all right, next question. What's the top thing on your bucket list? The top thing on my bucket list. Uh, so I'll say like, um, open up a gym, um, my hometown, um, for kids who like, who are like good in sports, but like don't necessarily have the funds to go and train and work with, um, trainers, you know, like the, the good trainers, you know, in Atlanta or the, the major cities. Mm -hmm. So I want to open up a facility where, um, regardless of the sport, they can come and train, um, you know, just work on their game um, or, you know, whatever sport they're doing so they can get into college and, mm -hmm. you know, not necessarily uh, become a pro at it, but, you know, if you get a free, sco a free uh, scholarship, then you get a free education. For sure. And then that'll take you on. Uh, onto the next level so that's that's one of the things I want to do that's a that's a that's something that's pretty cool and I think by just you know getting to know you the last couple of weeks I think that's kind of that doesn't surprise me that it would be your answer because I can tell you're just a humble guy uh, and you know you a great teammate and I think that that would be an awesome thing for you no, appreciate it man just trying to get like kick tools hey man Let's not start with, with all that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what does your life look like in 10 years? Hmm. In 10 years? Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, I hope to be able to 
Uh, play basketball as long as I can. I'm 25 now, so that puts me at 35. I think 10 year career would be, you know, something that, um, something that's attainable. But um, I think for me, just uh, you know, not really knowing uh, where I'd be at, but um, spending time with my family. You know, we got two kids now, Gus and Rosie. So maybe, you know, maybe grow the family a little bit. You never know. Yes, sir. But right now, I can't really see that far into the future. But mm -hmm. um, I think whatever, you know, wherever I'm at or whatever I'm doing, I'll be happy as long as I got my family with me. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna skip this one. I'm gonna do two in a row because this one's just like simple. Okay. If you were a fruit, what would you be and why? A fruit? I would be. I know, bro. I know. There's literally one answer for this. There's one answer? Yeah, think about it. Fruit? For, um, you know, when we had breakfast as a team the last couple of weeks. Oh, a pear? Yes. <laughs> I don't know how you would like explain that, but like I mean, it's gotta I be. I was gonna say pineapple, but since you brought that up, but I like a say pineapple's pear. more like sour, and not, you don't seem sour to me. Like a pear is like kind of like just like it's not too not too sour, but it's not like tart it's, or anything. It's like just like a sweet, like kind of smooth little fruit. Yeah, it's got like a nice little bit. Like yeah, everything. and it's not too loud. It's not too like you know, it's not the most like popular fruit, but it's like yeah. low key kind of. A really good fruit like once you take a bite you're like wow this is amazing you just made that a really easy answer for me so i'm gonna go pair. I'm gonna go pair. i think i think i could answer that for you <laughs> uh, okay i guess that wasn't such a simple and short uh, answer but i'm gonna ask this one again go ahead complete the sentence my biggest talent besides basketball is playing the drums oh really yeah wow so uh uh, growing up, I played the drums um, for my church. Okay. So all the way up until um, I went to college, actually. So uh, that's my, that's like my, I guess my second talent. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I got two for you. All right. Well. All right, let's do it. So the first one is, what time do you usually get up? Uh, I usually get up. I mean whenever the kids get up. So I got some, some, you know, some earlier days than others, but mm -hmm. I'd say roughly around, you know, eight o'clock, 7.30, depending on the day. Yeah, you got the kids, you know, on a good schedule sleeping in. Dang, that's I, not know, too bad I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna get that uh, schedule routine. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll definitely um, get you right. On, <laughs> get you on that sleep training stuff, but. Got you. Uh, so the next one is, what was your first thought when you received the inquiry from BG Girl again, and why did you decide to come here? My first thought was, um, was that this was, like, I, I had been hearing from, you know, different clubs or different teams, but once a German team reached out, I thought that, um, you know, I was excited about the opportunity because... For me, my uh, my grandmother grew up here, and she grew up in I want to say in Nuremberg, and so like growing up, she was always you know making us German dishes and teaching us German songs and you know, and so I always like liked Germany. And, and my opa recently um, last year he passed away, so for me it was like a cool opportunity to come here and pay tribute to them and kind of see how they grew up and be in this great country. And so it's kind of like a full circle moment for me. Dang. No, that's, that's deep. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool to be here. It's your home away from home. It really is. I feel like this is, you know, this is where the family's from. Okay, so sorry. I'm out here just uh, doing this for my opa. Um, next question. If you had the chance with which person would you like to swap for one day and why? If I had the chance. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, let me see. If I had to swap. 
squat. I'm gonna go. Seems to be my favorite actor. I'm just gonna go Will Smith. Okay. Just to, I would say, um, I guess to to see how uh, filming a movie or you know Fresh Prince of Bel Air, just see how that is. You know, how yeah. to remember lines. Oh, sure. And, you know, it seems like a lot of fun. Yeah. Like behind the scenes, so I just I want to I guess see how get that feeling to you know what it actually takes to be be an actor. I feel like you. Are good on the camera already. Like it would just be natural for you. I don't know about all that. I really do. I mean, kind of making me look bad out here. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, bro. Maybe Will Smith wants to be you. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Here, I, it would be a fair trade. You think so? Yeah. He would. He. Yeah. I just. I'll. I'll call him up. You know. See. See if you want to make it. All right. Trade. So, all right. See if I can find him over here. <laughs> I have one more. How many you have left? I have one more. So. Okay. Uh, this one's if you were arrested by the police without explanation, what would your friends believe what you did? Oh yeah, what would your friends believe you did? If I got arrested and there was no explanation, what would my friends believe that I was being arrested for? Yeah. Hmm. Are you glad you didn't get this one? Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> even know. Uh, let's see. So like, not a real, real crime or- Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. just something in my Like I could be arrested for like, you know, trespassing or, yeah. you know, being in the gym too long. I was gonna, you know, come take me out in handcuffs. I was gonna say, that's the what it was. They tried, they tried to close the gym, you wouldn't leave. I wasn't having it. You had, I said, I gotta, make a, I gotta make a thousand more shots. Exactly. You had already made 3,000, but you said you wanna make a thousand more. So they're like, no. And the cops, the feds try to shut it down. I, okay, all right, that, that'll, be, that'll be my answer. I was in the gym and my work wasn't done, but the, the cops showed up and weren't having it. I may have, uh, you know, hit them with a little something, I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see, I guess we'll never know. Yeah. So, hopefully that never happens. I, I would, yeah, I'd be shocked if that did happen, but it's a good, it's a good reason to, you know, go down for. Just out here, just doing what you love. Yeah. Trying to get better. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. This is the last one, and it's not very, and it's just like average. It's not that cool, like that one. That's kind of cool. How would you describe yourself in three sentences? I hate stuff like this. Like three sentences. trying to like, um, or instead of sentences, you can just do words. I'll even, I'll even give you that and okay. make it a little it's more nice. precise. Describe myself in three words. And like, for instance, if you want to say hardworking, that's one one word. Yeah, that's one phrase. I would say I would say I'm hardworking. Um, I'm down to earth, and I would say I am. I'm what I say. I think those three words describe describe me. I wish I could say I disagreed, but I don't. Right, right on the money, right there. Right on the same page. Yes, sir. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, getting to know me and KB a little bit. Yeah. You know, we'll take this chemistry here that you saw on camera today, and we'll uh, translate it out onto the court. So, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.